I've heard you talk about this. Go back to 1960. The total uh, percentage of GDP in taxes has gone from four to two percent. At the same time, the total percentage in healthcare has gone from five to almost 18 yeah, percent. Corporate now. tax, That's exactly. Corporate important. tax. So you are now involved in a joint venture with J.P. Morgan and Amazon to try to right. correct that. How are you going to bend that cost curve as a practical matter? I wish I knew. <laughs> the the answer is get the smartest people we can working on it. We've got a terrific leader on that, and and. And basically give them free reign and just uh, and not expect something is going to happen ne next year or, or the year after. I mean, this is a 3.3 trillion or something like that industry. And every dollar has a constituency and it's got all kinds of, of factors it, that you, you, you can't just chip a little bit here and there. So so we're not in a hurry and we'd like to be in a hurry, but we're, we're not going to try and do something faster than it can be done. You're a terrific leader, Atul Gawande. Uh, what yeah. is he doing? He's thinking, and, and he's hiring people. Not very many people, but, but he will be hiring people. He's been thinking all his life, but, it, but he is now focused on looking at the system and saying, is there a system that can check this growing tapeworm, which is now up to 18% of GDP and is growing every year and is way higher than any other country, and uh, can we do that and at the same time deliver a better product for patients? It, the, it will not be as success if it's just a cost-cutting measure well, at all. Well, that's part of the question. When you try to bend the cost curve, you've got two options, really. You either spend less from what you're getting already or you get less. Those are the two options. So how much of this will be actually extracting monopoly rents, as it were, out of the system where people are making too much money over things? How much will it be saying to people, you can't have the drug, the health care no. service that you expect? No. No, it, it, we will not do it unless a very substantial majority of the people feel they are going to be better off under what we are proposing. But you can spend smarter. You can spend smarter. And, and incidentally, throughout industry, we do spend smarter all the time. I, and, I mean, we are so much more efficient than 50 years ago in making cars or you, you name it. Uh, so it's, it's not impossible to think smarter about something. But you do get rigidities built in, and you get, you know, very much in the way of self-interest, and, and it's hard to rearrange. It's like a Rubik's Cube. You know, there's a lot of things <laughs> arranged before you get where you want to get. Uh, so it's a big challenge. But that must create dislocation in success in will, the healthcare it, industry somewhere, be because some that money has to come out of somebody's pocket there'll somewhere. There'll be dislocation. I mean, there'll be, and, and there have been dislocations. We've been disrupting farming, you know, ever since we had 80% of the people on farms. We decided maybe tractors were better than horses, and maybe fertilizer would help, and wouldn't be so bad to have some irrigation and a few things. And now 2% of the people are more productive than 80% were. Uh, a couple hundred years ago.